Some launches shake the tech world quietly, and then there are moments like this. Bursts of leaks, whispers, and bold claims that flip the entire conversation overnight. The Galaxy Z Treefold is suddenly everywhere, and people are treating the newest leak like a golden ticket. But if you stay with me, you'll see why the real story is far more thrilling than the hype. Welcome back viewers, Sam here. Like, share, and subscribe for more! The excitement around Samsung's first triple folding phone has reached a point where even the calmest tech fans are hitting refresh every 10 seconds. We're days away from launch, and the internet has convinced itself it already knows the price, the specs, and even Samsung's long-term strategy. But trust me, some of what's spreading right now is way off the mark, and that's where things get interesting. The latest spark came from a price leak that lit up social media within minutes. People were celebrating as if Samsung had finally decided to hand out flagship tech at mid-range pricing. But the moment you look closer, everything starts falling apart. One variant 16GB RAM 512GB storage, one color, sounds simple, right? But that simplicity is exactly why it doesn't add up. A device with triple hinges, layered displays, and engineering complexity this extreme doesn't magically land in the same ballpark as Samsung's regular foldable lineup. And before we even talk price, here's the twist that most people missed. The source of the leak isn't one of the well, established insiders who've built years of credibility. It's someone who has repeatedly reposted translated leaks as if they were original findings. That alone should make anyone pause. The post circulating today literally came from converting a Korean currency estimate straight into US dollars, something that never, ever reflects the actual launch price. If you've followed Samsung's pricing history, you already know why this is a problem. A direct conversion would make last year's flagship foldable look hundreds of dollars cheaper than it actually was in the US. So when the supposed price of the trifold came out lower than expected, people cheered without realizing the math was based on a method that has never predicted Samsung's final pricing correctly. Now here's where the story gets even spicier. Multiple Korean outlets, supply, chain analysts, and industry trackers have hinted at a price closer to the premium tier, something around that 3,000 mark. And honestly, that tracks. Triple hinges aren't cheap. Larger panels aren't cheap. New folding mechanisms are absolutely not cheap. When Huawei launched its trifold in China, it was already pushing the limits of cost, and Samsung's model is shaping up to be more advanced in almost every way. So here's the question nobody is asking. Why would Samsung price a futuristic, first-of-its-kind device nearly in line with a regular fold model? Who would buy the standard fold when a trifold offering a tablet, size tent, inch canvas, is sitting right next to it for a tiny difference? It makes no strategic sense, and Samsung isn't known for sabotaging its own flagship lineup. But while the price hype spreads, the real confirmed details are far more exciting. Samsung is launching the Z Treefold in South Korea on the 5th, and early signs point toward multiple Asian markets getting it right after. Bluetooth certifications practically confirm a US release as well, and that alone is huge. It means Samsung isn't treating this device like a secret experiment. It's treating it like a product that's ready to meet the world. Let's talk hardware, because this is where things start getting wild. Despite looking thicker in photos, the device is surprisingly close to the Fold 5's thickness when fully open. How Samsung pulled that off with three display panels and a more complex hinge system is something we'll break down later in this video. The moment it unfolds into that wide 10-inch display is when you realize this isn't just another folding phone. It's a portable tablet that fits in your pocket. But Samsung didn't stop at display size. The bezels might be slightly larger than the Fold 7, but brightness is right on par, cameras match the flagship lineup, and performance remains top tier. 
Battery life jumps to an impressive 5600Na using a triple cell configuration. That alone puts it ahead of the Fold 7, especially when you consider how much screen real estate this device is powering. And then comes the biggest surprise of all software. Samsung has quietly built a trifold, optimized version of One UI that takes multitasking to a whole new level. We're talking three way splits, flexible app scenes, shared drag, and drop layers, and more. This isn't a stretched version of the Fold UI, it's a new approach that finally gives foldable software the upgrade it needed. But while Samsung works on refining the future, the competition is watching closely. Huawei may have reached the trifold milestone first, but limited availability and software restrictions put it in a completely different league. Meanwhile, Apple has been rumored to enter the folding space, possibly with a double folding design. The timing of Samsung's reveal is no coincidence. It's sending a message. If Apple is preparing its first fold, Samsung is already on generation 3 of the folding evolution. And just when everyone thought the story ended there, another surprising detail surfaced. Samsung is producing limited units, possibly around 100 zalazen for the initial run. That's not mass production by Samsung standards, and it hints at a strategy that's far more calculated. This isn't a device designed to sell tens of millions. It's a showcase product. A technological statement. A preview of where the Fold Ultra series may go next. With that limited number and a premium price tag, the Z Trifold becomes something else entirely. A collector, level flagship, just enough units to prove Samsung's engineering dominance, but not enough to risk supply, chain chaos, or component shortages. It's Samsung saying, we can build this now, and we're already working on what comes next. And here's the fun part. The trifold won't just influence Samsung's next foldable. It will reshape the entire fold lineup. The lessons learned here, from the U-shaped hinge to the layered panel structure, will eventually make their way into mainstream models. If Samsung succeeds, we might be looking at the blueprint for the Fold Ultra, or even a future note style foldable that blends power and portability in a way no phone has before. So as we wait for December 5th, here's the bottom line ignore the noise, ignore the fake excitement, and focus on the real breakthroughs happening behind the scenes. The Galaxy Z Trefold isn't just another device launch. It's a turning point, not just for Samsung but for the entire foldable industry, and the real story is only just beginning. This is Sam, and I'll keep breaking everything down as the launch unfolds. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next chapter. Trust me, the next leaks are going to be even crazier.